Hey man, you know what you are? You're a little cocksucking bitch dressed up like a fucking woman, you drag queen stupid bitch. If I do run back across you, I'm gonna dynamite your fucking ass, you whore. Remember that, you coward. You're, you're a little cocksucking bitch dressed up like a fucking woman, you drag queen stupid bitch. If I do run back across you, I'm gonna dynamite your fucking ass, you whore. Remember that, remember that, remember that, you coward, drag queen stupid bitch. It's your boy TKIGs, and I'm back with another video. As you guys already know, I'm on Red Dead Redemption 2. This is my first video that I have put out since the summer update has came out, and I'm so sorry for that, but I just didn't want to throw anything out because I wanted to gain experience and to get out an ethical video for you guys instead of just throwing out a video because the summer update came out. So I didn't, this is pretty much my first video you guys seen of me since the summer update has been released. Okay, so I am a level 20 in Bounty Hunter and I'm a level 20 in Trader Roll as well. Uh, I've been a level 20 in both those for about a week now. So I've been a level 20. I just wanted to see and get a grasp on the summer update to see the direction they're going in and what type of videos that I wanted to do. So what I'm trying to say is <clears throat> this is for the people that really don't have the outlaw pass or can't afford it or just don't have it or just don't want it. So this video is for the people that want to rank up really fast for the trader role and this is a really great method to do. So if you guys don't have the outlaw pass like myself unfortunately this is for you. This video is pretty much for you. The people that have the outlaw pass which costs 35 gold or you have to spend real life money on it um you know you guys get to rank up pretty easy so you guys probably won't benefit from this video and if you guys do if the people that have outlaw passes and you guys do benefit from this video then let me know please smash the like button give me feedback if you guys if this video helps you out if anyway um just let me know so let's just jump right on into it so the first thing you guys want to do for your trader role when you actually start your trader role trader role is actually free for the people on the playstation 4 so if you guys didn't know that it's free and the people that are struggling with it this is what i want you guys to do this is what i helped found this is what i found that helped me to gain to be a level 20 in my trader role so the first thing you want to do is you want to um teleport is that the right word i should say yeah i'm just gonna say teleport fat oh fast travel teleport Dang, dude, I'm coming back to my mod in GTA 5 days. Sorry. Anyways, you guys want to fast travel to Emerald Ranch. To Emerald Station, sorry. You guys want to fast travel to Emerald Station. Once you fast travel to Emerald Station, at Emerald Station, you want to call your camp. And your camp should literally spawn in that general area where the Emerald Station is. That's where you guys want your camp to be. Once you go ahead, once you do that, I want you guys to go ahead and navigate on over to your camp. And this is for people that's a level 1. It doesn't matter if you're level 14, level 3, level 8, level 13, level 18 in trader role. It does not matter. I, got, I want you guys to all do this. This will help you. This will help you rank up faster and gain more XP. 
So, once you do that, you will see you have, it's like this open land in Heartlands. This is pretty much where this camp is. This is, this is Heartlands. And it's open world. And there's so many animals. And the only animal that I want you guys to hunt is bucks and deers. You do not want to hunt anything else. If you want to hunt anything else, it is optional. But I guarantee it will go by way faster if you just hunt deers and bucks. The second step I want you guys to do, do not skin any of your animals at all. Any animal that you kill, do not skin it. Only aim for headshots as well. It helps you get a perfect pelt. And make sure you look and see what gun to shoot the animal with because the gun you shoot the animal with, it um, it definitely would if you're to get a perfect pelt or not. Meaning if you see a three star like you do right here on this deer, if I were to shoot this with a pistol or another gun, then it will turn to a one star which will be a poor pelt which will also be a poor carcass so I won't get that much the bar on the meter won't go up as much as if I were to shot it if I were to shot it right with a, a bolt action rifle or a long arm rifle and that's what, what will determine to get me a perfect pelt or a perfect carcass it definitely benefits you from getting a perfect pelt. If you use the wrong gun, then it will literally varnish the fucking pelt and it will not be any, it won't, it won't be worth it. So you just wanna aim for perfect pelt, right? So perfect carcasses, I should say. So again, do not skin any animals. So only hunt deers and bucks and do not skin any animals. If you're a level 10 and you have a hunting wagon, this will definitely, definitely benefit you. So if you're level 10 and you have the hunting wagon, you can level up way faster from this method because you have a hunting wagon and you can store five carcasses on your hunting wagon. Unlike some people that aren't level 10 or are level 10 but just can't simply afford the hunting wagon, which is, I believe, how much is the hunting wagon? Like 875 plus two blue coins or whatever? I think it's $875 plus two blue coins. I'm not sure. But a lot of people don't have the hunting wagon this is what you want the hunting wagon for so you can still do this but you just have to literally keep running back and forth so for the people that don't have hunting wagons what I suggest you do is find a perfect buck or a perfect deer and you throw the full carcass onto your uh, horse you do not skin it and if you want if you want you can go ahead and kill other deers and skin them and put it on your horse but as long as you have a one perfect carcass that you did not skin yet on your horse, you should be good. So it will take a little longer for the people that don't have a hunting wagon, but you'll still level up faster because there's so many animals out here, especially there's so many bucks and deer. So that's what you really want. So once you go back into your camp, you go ahead and give it to, you give the supplies to your camp and um, you give the carcasses to your camp and you will see that once you deliver a deer or a buck, a perfect buck, your meter goes up dramatically high once you turn in a perfect carcass. And his perfect carcass for him, the one he loves, is he loves fucking bucks. He loves perfect bucks carcasses. So that's what you really want to aim for. That's when it goes up dramatically, and you guys will see that. So... That's what I want you guys to really pretty much hunt. If you can find a perfect buck, if you even if you don't find a perfect buck, say like you find a one star or two star buck, it doesn't matter. Kill it and put it on your horse. Okay? Do not skin anything. Also as well, every time, I want you guys to look at your delivery thing. Every time your delivery gets to max, whether it's 25, which is what you start off with, whether it's 50 if you pay for the medium wagon, and whether it's 100 if you pay for the large wagon. I actually have all the wagons. Even I have the bounty wagon as well. If it's full capacity, go ahead and do that delivery as fast as possible. Because since your camp is in Heartlands, there's so many animals in Heartlands, it's so easy to hunt and supply your trader guy with carcasses because there's so many deers, as you guys see, everywhere. So this helps so much because a lot of people struggle with the trader role because of the fact that they take they're hunting the wrong things. They're hunting, simply hunting the wrong things and they're skinning the animals, which you do not want to do. So I do suggest you guys, when you guys rank up to a level 10 trader roll, buy a hunting wagon because it is really worth it. You can store up to five carcasses. Again, do not skin anything. Um, you, can you can store up to five carcasses in your hunting wagon. So that is the fastest way to level up. And always do your deliveries every time it's max. So 
a question that a lot of people do have is what happens if I don't want the medium wagon and I just want to get the large wagon and a large wagon is a lot of money I forgot how much large large wagon is I forgot if it was 950 975 I don't remember how much the large wagon I think it was 875 I don't remember how much the large wagon is which the large wagon simply implies that you can fill up the wagon to a hundred goods so that's what the large wagon is so the question is is can I just skip over the medium wagon and just buy the large wagon which is a hundred capacity you cannot do that you have to buy the medium wagon first and then you have to buy the large wagon if you want to get to the hundred capacity so the medium wagon is 50 capacity and the large wagon is 100 capacity. You cannot skip over the, the medium wagon. You have to buy the medium wagon first and then buy the large wagon. I'm sorry guys, that's what you have to do. That's what I've heard at least. I don't know. I've, as soon as I got to a level 5, I think that's when you lock the medium wagon and I just immediately bought it. And then when I got to level 10, I bought the large wagon and I immediately bought it. And I also bought the hunting wagon at a level 10 as well. I just immediate, immediately bought it. But I've heard my friends say that you cannot just jump over to a large wagon if you don't want the medium wagon. You cannot do that. You have to buy the medium wagon as well. So that's just a tip for you guys as well. But anyways, guys, that's really that's pretty much all you want to do is you never want to move your camp from the heartlands. You always want it in this general vicinity. And you don't want to move it anywhere because this is a great spot. And if you're also a bounty hunter as well, this is a great spot because Emerald Station has a bounty poster right there. Just in case you get bored or you fill up all the carcasses and your uh, white bar is all the way full. So you can do a bounty hunter roll and you can go ahead and do that. And then when you come back to the Emerald Station, your camp is right by the Emerald Station. You can go ahead and check on it and see where it's at if you need to do a supply mission or not. And that's pretty much what you want to do. So you're pretty much knocking out two stones and one. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> two stones and one. <laughs> I just made that up. Also as well, what I see a lot of people do is when they get to the mission part, when the it's halted. When, you're, when your trader guy is halted and he's no longer working anymore, that's because usually you run out of supplies. I mean, you run out of carcasses for your trader guy to work on or he needs more supplies. So what I see a lot of people do is that they just go ahead and pay the $20 fee and they just and then the $20 fee pretty much implies that you will get supplies shipped to you within a matter of 30 minutes or something like that. You don't want to do that because when you do that, you miss out on valuable XP that levels you up and dramatically fast so do never never ever 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 pay the fee and always for me I always say go for the longest delivery because it gives you the most XP and it gives you the most money so that helps as well but yeah guys so that's all you guys want to do to rank up efficiently on the trader roll I found this really helpful that's how I gained to level 20 really fast for my trader roll I think I gained I think I went from 1 to 20 in Trader in like 6 days. But, mind you guys, I have a job, so I wasn't playing every single day. And then when I did, I was only playing for like literally 4 to 6 hours. That's still quite a while, but, you know, that's still pretty impressive. So in 6 days, it gained me a level 20 without barely playing that much. And, um, that's what you guys want to do. I will make another video as well on how to rank up fast on Bounty Hunter as well because a lot of people say it's really hell to level up on Bounty Hunter rolls. So I will do another video on how to rank up fast on Bounty Hunter rolls. And I will do a video as well on how to drive the Bounty Wagon and what to use it for. And a lot of people don't know how to use a Bounty Wagon. And they usually, they usually use it for like two people or one person. And they can't even drive it right. So I'm going to give you tips on how to drive a bounty wagon as well on my next upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, this is all you guys want to do. Make sure you have your camp in Heartland so you can just keep running back and forth and hunting these deers. Only deers and bucks. Nothing else. Do not skin anything. Just keep on doing this over and over. If you're level 10 and you can afford this hunting wagon, please go out and do this. Because if you do this, you'll level up incredibly faster and easier than most people. So that's all that's it for me guys as you guys see that I ranked up to level 20 I did this video about a week ago and uh, well, I did this this a week ago and so I've been a level 20 a while so that's how I did it just keep doing deliveries um, 
If you're a bounty hunter as well, it's helped because the Emerald Station is right next to your camp. So when you're full on the on the goods, then you just go ahead and go ahead to the uh, Emerald to the Emerald Station and do a bounty hunter roll, and then rinse and repeat. Once the bounty's done, you go back to the Emerald Station. Your camp's right by the Emerald Station. You look at your camp. You see if uh, you need supply mission and yada yada yada. Re re rinse, re rinse and repeat. That's all you do. And I hope this video helps you guys out. Try this for yourself. If it does, smash this like button. If this help, helps you guys out, roll me up faster on your trader roll. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. This is what I did to become a level 20. And this is what I found really helpful that a lot of people don't know. So thank you guys for watching. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video really soon. It's your boy Tiki IG's in a mouth.